right, guys, this is Positive Girl Gets Fit, otherwise known as Takesha and Nikki, and I am coming in uh, with just a little small update. Hope you guys are doing well. It's been a few weeks since I have uh, come to you. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the numbers. Highest weight recorded was 256 pounds. That was in October of 2012. Uh, date of surgery, I was 238.8 pounds. And uh, last time, oh, and that was in December. That was December 19th, 2012. And last time that I came to you, um, that was was a few weeks ago and I think I was 130 something and I'm still uh, in the 130s so I'm still doing good still hanging in there um, so what has been going on since the last time that I came to you well um, something uh, I guess transition transition-y <laughs> um, I think it was inevitable that we were going to do it but um, Jamie and I are now vegan uh, Jamie's mostly vegan, I will say, but um, I'm trying to be pretty strict about it, trying to be pretty strict about uh, being vegan, but um, it is not as kooky and crazy as I thought it would be. Um, you know, sometimes you look at people and you're just like, mm, I don't know, you're kind of kooky, <laughs> or you're, mm, I don't know, <laughs> kind of weird. Um, but not the case. I, I and and if that is still the case for others, I, I don't know. Um, then I guess I'm now in that bunch of being kooky weird and mm. <laughs> so yeah. Now um, I will have to say, my lord, the skin. <laughs> yes. Um, so I have been off eggs, cheese, dairy, all that good stuff. I've been off it for about I guess going on three weeks now, and. Um, it's been really good. I mean, I haven't missed it. I, I wasn't drinking milk to begin with, so um, you know that that wasn't a big thing. The biggest thing I think for me is the cheese. Um, I thought, it, excuse me, let me say that. Um, initially, I thought the biggest thing was going to be, as far as transitioning, was going to be cheese, but it's not. Like. I mean, cheese is great. Cheese is good. Cheese is awesome. <laughs> There's so many varieties. Um, but it's not, it hasn't taken as big of an impact as I thought it was going to take on my life. Like not having it, uh, you know, in my diet. So it's actually been pretty good, uh, to be honest with you. Um, we use Daya cheese now. So um, it's about the same price. It might be maybe a few cents more, but uh, for the cheese that we normally buy, but it's about the same price. Um, I cooked tofu this morning. That was my very first time attempting co uh, tofu, and uh, it's actually pretty good. Um, I will need to do a little bit more on the seasonings, but other than that, um, I can work with it. I was really afraid of tofu because I thought there was so much into, you know, cooking tofu and uh, I'm realizing that no that's not the case tofu is like the easiest thing to cook like on earth so <laughs> it will become anything you want it to become um, which is you know craziness so um, so yeah that was my very first attempt at that and it actually went pretty well so uh, we made um, tofu scramble wraps this morning um, what else you know just living this uh, this lifestyle is is different you know when you tell somebody that you're vegan it's like they um, <laughs> it's like saying hey I'm now smoking crack or hey um, I have an addiction to something very very bad or I like little kids or so I mean it's it's, it's on that level right uh, being very extreme very and maybe that was like a wrong example for the liking kids thing. I don't like kids. Um, I mean, I like kids because they're, you know, the kids that I have. I like them. But um, I don't like them in that way. So, <laughs> that was... Okay, so anyway, um, but I do feel like, you know, when you tell somebody that you're vegan, they just like have this like, why don't you eat meat type thing. And it's like, you can't criticize somebody else. Um, and I don't, and I, and I choose not to, that's just not my thing. I see a lot of people on Instagram and Facebook and, and the like that have this approach of like showing dead animals and, you know, showing, uh, how the manufacturers are killing these, you know, poor animals. And, and I, 
I feel for them. I understand the plight and I understand, you know, really at hand what's going on, the processing of the food. And, and that's that's why I choose not to eat meat. Um, and just there's so many additives and, and all these, you know, things that are going on in the food, period, just in food in general, not just meat. In food in general, you have to really look at your food and understand what is going on in, in the food and also what you're putting in your body. So that's just that's not just for meat, that's not just for dairy and cheese and all that. You gotta look at your food. You gotta determine, you know, are you willing to take the risk of having, you know, these additives in your in your body? So, um, you kind of almost have to be a scientist of sorts as well <laughs> in the kitchen when you are vegan, um, especially when you're coming up with these recipes. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoy the lifestyle. But again, I, I feel like there's a lot of shade. There's a lot of criticism. There's a lot of, oh my God, how could you dare not have any piece of meat? Or how could you dare not have, you know, any cheese in your life? Like, get the hell out of here. Are you serious right now? Like, to each their own, right? So, you know, everybody does different things. You know, I just choose not to dabble in in the meat products. I, I just, I'm good. You know, <laughs> I'm good. I'm trying to be as healthy as possible. You know, what I'm saying like there's there's just so many things, and I really feel like if you pick up a book or if you look at a documentary or if you just read, just Google, just research your food know what you're doing know what you're eating I, I've said this numerous times know what you're doing you know have some insight as to what you're eating I was in like this kind of almost scuffle with someone on Facebook last night because she was like I know what's in my food and I know what I'm eating and my doctor told me that I can't have you know I can't live on a plant-based diet I have to eat meat I have to I have to <laughs> and I'm just like girl please girl bye <laughs> Your doctor, your surgeon is not a freaking nutritionist. Um, last time I checked, my surgeon is not a nutritionist. That's why we have an in-house nutritionist um, on staff because she knows about food and what the body does and how the body reacts to certain foods and what as bariatric patients we should be doing, period. We just need to get in our protein. We, get in, we need to get in complete protein, okay? so. We can do that. We can still do that and not eat animal flesh. It is so possible. Um, I'm not dead. <laughs> I am still here. Other than getting hit by cars, I am alive and well. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, come on now. Don't, don't, don't be closed to uh, nutrition. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just don't be closed to it. I have delved into the meats. I've, I've eaten all kinds of food. So I, I have a full photography um, background um, in everything. You have, if you follow me on Facebook, um, you've seen that I've eaten over the last six, seven years, a multitude of everything. I used to like chicken. I used to like pork chops. I used to like, you know, all bacon and, oh, come on now. Um, but I have evolved and I have just read things and learned things and I have just chosen that this is my new lifestyle. I have made that decision to where I don't want to do meat anymore. I, that's just my own personal preference and to each their own. If you want to still hang out with me, that has nothing to do with me. I don't pay your grocery bill. I, I'm, I'm not paying for your grocery. So <laughs> I don't care what you do, um, just as long as you're being healthy and just as long as, and even if you're not being healthy, who the fuck am I? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like, you know, sometimes we get into these, um, <laughs> into these arguments about things that really don't have anything to do with us. Like, you know, if you're telling me about food or if we're having a conversation about food, that's cool. And, and we can have that talk, but you know, I'm not going to push my, you know, my ideologies on you. I'm not going to say, okay, well, you know, I'm vegan now, so you have to be vegan. No, I'm just saying for me, 
for my own. I want to show you some different things. And that's why I document my food. But I've always documented my food. I have always done that. Um, but on this tip, I just want to show you like, hey, there's some fun things that you can do with food that don't involve meat. And, you know, just give it a try. You may like it. You never know. Um, but my whole life is kind of being documented. So um, in various levels, you know, it's just being documented. So I, I just want to bring something else to you. I want you to see something else from me. Um, I would love to start doing some cooking shows. I would love to start our videos. I would love to start, you know, giving you some good tips on if you are venturing into the vegetarian, vegan lifestyle, just, you know, give you some good ideas to maybe um, think about going forward, um, how you can implement those good you know, ideas into your lifestyle. Um, but I don't want this to be like a over analyzed or an overly like, oh my God, you should do this thing kind of rant. This is just where I'm at. <laughs> you know, everybody has, I mean, this whole, we're in a journey, right? So in our journey, we should learn new things. We should do new things. We should try to evolve as best as we can. And, uh, and that's what I'm doing. So um, I definitely feel better. I, um, I'm definitely lighter on my feet. Um, I, I just, I feel good. I really, really feel good. And, um, and I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue to do this. Um, this is me, you know, I, I am, I'm on this track. I'm doing this, uh, for as long as I possibly can. So, um, so that's where I'm at. I know it's a little bit long, but, uh, I hope that, you know, you got some, some good stuff out of me. I, I cussed a few times, so I, I don't know, <laughs> but man, sometimes it makes me upset, um, to have people just kind of come down on you and you're not trying to do that to them. You're just trying to be peaceful about things. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> if you have questions, if you have any concerns or whatever, just post them below. Um, I'll be more than happy to uh, to take a look at what you got going on. And if I can help in any way, I'll be more than happy to do that as well. So uh, you guys know me. So, <laughs> so I will talk with you all later. I know it's been a long time, but um, I hope that everybody has a great day. Today's Wednesday, January 27th. Have a great day, guys. Bye.